Don't just take it what you see because you never know what's behind it. My name is Sarita Martin and I'm a sophomore junior, <laughs> major journalism concentration in magazine, 20 years old. Um, and I have a part-time job. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a mom, full-time. But Ariana, I was 16 years old. So when I found out, um, I cried. And I tried to run out the house. I tried to make a dash for the door. I was so just, I couldn't believe it. I knew abortion wasn't for me. My mom, my sister, my daughter's father, his family, I had awesome support. And I think had I not had that, it would have been hell. Gabrielle will be two months in less than a week. And Ariana is three years old. She's a daddy's girl <laughs> to the fullest. He's always been involved with her. Um, he sees her throughout the week, weekends. They have a close relationship. So he's always helped out and, and been there. I, I've always felt like as far as that we were a team. We're not together now, but we're still the best of friends. It's not like a, a bad relationship or anything. The only thing I really changed was instead of going straight to college, I had took a year off. And other than that, I didn't. Still made it to college, which was my end goal. I wanted to go to Temple, so I still got to have my dream. My first year, um, it had got so bad, it was to a point where it got down to, when it came to, to eating, or a meal, it was like either she eats or I eat. And of course she's gotta eat. So there were a lot of nights where I went to sleep hungry. Like I just had to do that. It was the worst. I, I mean, like I was so stressed out. I started losing hair, all, all types of stuff. At that point, I was so determined to come up here. I think I came with like $600 saved. And I went down to the welfare office. Um, the lady who I was actually trying to file my application with was like, so what, you think because you're in college we should take care of your kids because you wanted to get pregnant early? Just because somebody has become pregnant or has a child or whatever the, whatever their situation is, doesn't mean they don't have a right to an education. If anything, you should want to support me because I'm trying to move higher. I'm not asking you to take care of my kids. Even with me not being with their fathers anymore, I get I get a boatload of stuff about that. We mean you're supposed to stay together for the kids and you didn't learn after the first one. And they were like, you know, you're 20 years old with two kids and this and that is, and I'm like, you think I don't know that? <laughs> this is my life, you you think I don't know that I have two kids here? <laughs> like I'm with them 24 seven, 365. Writing has always been, always felt like the pages would understand me. Just wanted to pursue my dreams so I could show her they don't have to be given up. But when you make the mistakes I have, sometimes you must. And so now I'll fall back off them like a man who has betrayed me. Give up my life for her so that like me, she will not be. I kept trying to tell myself. It's just like I can put it on there, I can get it out, and it's like after that I can breathe. Whatever decisions I made in my life, I'm living with them. And I'm quite happy where I'm at. I don't regret anything. I take everything as a learning lesson. So now, yes, I think I've got it in my head now. <laughs> you know, I've, I've learned it now, but I always say you just do it. You know, if you think too much about it, it becomes so real to the point where it can almost cause you to crumble. So time management is everything. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm in class from 9, well, Monday and Wednesday, 9.40 to 1 p.m. And then Friday, 9.40 to 11.30 a.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays, no classes. And I only work from 4 to 6 p.m. Saturday, one class from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. And then I don't work on the weekends. I'm just happy, like I can scream that at the top of the lungs. Like, I'm happy how everything is. We got a one bedroom, we're all here, but you know, it's not going to always be like this. And I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. I'm not going to sit here and let you hurt my feelings or get all emotional about it because I'm, I'm working proactively for my situation. So when I do succeed and when I do reach the top, you'll see. You know, you'll, you'll see where I'm at and then you can say whatever you want. You know, that's, that's how I look at it. I know I'm not going to fail. I can't afford to fail. So I just take it in stride. Thank you.